Louisiana can deliver. Got him! Get him out! Just keeps me coming back year after year after year. Go, Mo, go to the back! Get him! Being prepared for different opportunities, different circumstances that may come up. Gobia? Yeah, a bunch of them. I think I got her! This might be one of my biggest Cobia. Oh, look at him! You know, out of all the places that I get to fish, Louisiana is one of the places that I've never had a bad trip. It always seems to produce. Sometimes a little bit more than others, but it always produces. Day one, we went tuna fishing. We got two baits hooked and ready to roll. All right, Eric's on. Woo! Going for a little duble. Get the popper, get the popper. I got one. We Woo! got our tuna. They weren't the biggest, but we got our tuna. Outstanding one. Woo! Day Hold two, on. epic redfish bite. Oh, I'm getting bit. Got Hold him, on. Mo. Got him, Mo. Wow, Mo. You saw that? It just sure. wouldn't end. This huge flat out here is just covered with poses. How about that, Mo? There you go. Huh? Day three, you know what? The biggest triple tail I have ever seen. Is that the one, Mo? I hope. Yeah, triple tail! Triple tail, get the net. Now we just gotta find something else to do. <laughs> you know, I want to go experience these giant gray snapper the giant gray snapper on some of those near shore rigs. But we need pogies to do that. Here is another bait source that they have in Louisiana. Let me make a throw on this slick. This time of year in the fall, the pogies are thick. I got some coming in the boat. I just blind cast it. This is what everything is feeding on around here. You know, they're really high in fat and they come in massive schools and everything's feeding on them. The redfish have been crushing them. We're gonna take them offshore and drop them in on the wells for the snapper. Those triple tail were full of pogies. Eric. Yeah. Once we get this bait in salt water, I mean, we're in brackish water now. When we get in that pure, pure salt, we don't have much time with this bait, do we? No, I mean, the, 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 the prettier the water, like the bluer the water gets, or greener, bluer green. Yeah. The, the less time you have. The you less gotta, time we have. You got a couple hours, two or three hours. So we have a, once we load up, we got a little bit of a time issue. Yep. We really need uh, the small pogies to go do this near shore rig fishing for the giant gray snapper. We need that three to four inch pogie. When you're a husband and wife team, you got the Nike's luxury of, honey, you throw a couple, then I throw a couple, and you don't get worn out. You know, that's how it works. Because every cast counts right now. When you're in search of bait and you want to fill your bait wells, fishing with a sabiki and getting three or four at a time, it takes a long time to get enough bait for the bait well. Carter got a mullet and something else. Air got pogey, see? When you have the option of throwing a cast net on a school of bait and you might get 75, 100, the cast net is really your only option. So what we have here is a menhaden or pogey. They call them bunker up in the Northeast and it's basically the same species, they just get a little larger. This is the biggest menhaden fishery in the world. Almost all the fleets from everywhere in the country have come here for the commercial harvest. So when you go and get Omega pills, fish oil pills, it comes from Menhaden. This water's not that bad. There, there are about, there are about a hundred gray snapper right here. Oh yeah, there are a pile of them right here. You want me to start cutting chunks? Look at the size of some of these, man. Mo, you want a heavier rod, I promise. Heavier rod? A heavier rod, I promise. All right. How big are they? I mean, I saw some that were looked like 10 pounds. 
side. Got him, Mo? Yeah. All right, Mo, one. Yeah, I, I hope this doesn't happen again today. I got a horse. I got him. Get him, big dog. Come on. Come on. Turn his head, buddy. All right, I got color. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Oh, that's a nice one. Get the net out. I got this one. See, Carter? You just outdid me. I got that. Oh, thank you, Eric. Teamwork, baby. Oh! <laughs> Eric, your turn. Okay. <laughs> I can pass that up. Look, he got bit before. You see oh, that? Oh, man, yeah, he's got a big old scar. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild, Mercury Marine, Go Boldly, Yozuri, Fish the Best, Costa, See What's Out There, and by Shimano. Look at them, nice. Oh. They're, come on, all, come on. they're all under you, Mo. Oh, we just pecked at it. I'm. Look how many there are. Come on, get over here. Look at that. Oh, an angel fish, a spade fish. Spade fish. When's the last time you saw those, Eric? You know, it's amazing how smart these fish are. Oh, oh they get keyed in real quick. Look, here he comes. Come on, come on. There he goes. Without a doubt, Louisiana is known for its giant gray snapper, the mangrove snapper. You catch a four pound snapper gray snapper and you've got a great one louisiana has the ability to produce on some of these rigs giant gray snapper literally up to 8 12 pounds the biggest gray snapper i've ever fished for are you finally on get him out the rig get to the back of the boat eric's got him Oh, nice one. You want me to get the net? Man, you're about to be on the board. About time I got on the board. Nice job, Eric. Look how fat that one is. Uh, can't stretch anymore. Thank you, Mo. You're welcome. See, you saw how that was a one-time shot? Saw that? <laughs> I didn't make you sweat She's it. tough, man. Huh? She is tough. I'm going to put them in my box. He's, he's way bigger than yours. Mom, what? Yeah, mine can eat yours. Man, you know what? You got hooked up. What do you have? Got more bait. There you go, man. Carter's on a bait mission. You know, sometimes fishing with Mo is brutal. And right now, Lady Luck is on her side, and it's brutal. like two or three studs right here. Come on, come on. Got him! Get him, Mo! Better come to the back of the boat, Franklin. Get him, Mo! You got it. Oh, he's a good one! Unbelievable. Yeah. Man, just call me, call me Big Fish Mo. All right, that's Big Fish Mo. Yep, that's how we roll. I'm going to have to stop playing back here with Eric and start fishing. Dick, you got it. They're being weird. There's a couple, there's a couple bigger in there. I think the one that took me the first time was a little bit bigger. You know, yesterday, every time Mo caught a fish, she catches a gray snapper, I catch a little jack. She catches 
a triple tail, I catch a smaller triple tail. You know, if she catches, you know, the biggest look down I've ever seen, I get a baby. Yeah, it's the second biggest fish in there. The first one was my first fish, and then, you know, it's that fish. So. Is that how that is, Mo? <laughs> I'll never Dude. All right, y'all want me to stop? It's her persistence. She's constantly there. She never stops. Look, shark, shark, shark. What's behind them? That's a cobia behind them. Cobia? Yeah, a bunch of them. I think I got her. Mo's the real deal. Mo is an incredibly talented angler. Nice cobia! Get a hoagie, Carter. Nice cobia! Man, I, this might be one of my biggest cobia. Whoa, look at them! Turn my motor up for me. Just so I have clearance. Huge one, Mo. Right, he's big. He is big. Gas on that side. Huge one. All right, Eric, you ready? No. I'm looking. I'm looking. Look at the size of him. Oh, come on! No, there are a lot of things that make the cobia tough, but one thing is trying to gaff them. There's nothing easy about gaffing a cobia. Go straight in the floor. Watch your feet, watch yourself, watch yourself, back up. Golly, Mo. Woo! Look at that one. Oh, he's fat. Holy cow, you know Mo. What? Huh? I missed a couple of fish, but you know, always bring in the ringer. This this is, might be my biggest cobia ever. That's a good one, Look Mo. how big he is. This definitely is my biggest cobia. Would have been my biggest too. Well, <laughs> you lose, you lose. Huh? You, did, you gave Carter like two seconds to grab a hoagie. Well, I know my bait was Who, in the water when what, I mentioned it. What already. happened? All what's all this stuff? Well, that's my husband. What, what about this pull out, right? Huh? Gaffing 101. We just went to that school. <laughs> and that's what happens right there. You know, when you're out fishing, and whether it's in Florida or Louisiana. Being prepared for different opportunities, different circumstances that may come up, that's, that's what's going to make you a more successful fisherman than the next guy. When you get in the boat, you got to be very careful with them. Why I have gloves on? Because back here, they have these spines that pop up. And when he starts kicking around like he did in the boat, yeah. that's why we put the bat to his head right away. Yeah. Look at the size of that head, Mo. Huh? Look at you! Huh? This is what you yeah. All right, come on, get in here with me. Wow. This. Huh? I saw him come up and fortunately my bait was in there first. <laughs> I don't know Your why. Your bait always <laughs> seems to be in first, Mo. But this You're is good, man. What one of my a cobia. Biggest cobia. Huh? This is a good fish. You know, y'all said they might be on these rigs out here. One yeah. of the reasons why we came. Yep. Y'all can hold him a little while. Come on! <laughs> Mo's holding the big end. One, two, three. Whoa! Mo! Mic drop! Putting a little smackdown on that fish. <laughs> huh? Yeah. See anything? Saw a big jack? Go, Mo, go to the back. Get him. What is it? Big old mangrove. I mean, a healthy one. Golly, Mo. Big boy, Can you spell whooping? That's what I'm putting on you boys. That's a beautiful fish. I caught that because you put out live chum for me. I'm chum, I'm chum boy. Teamwork, teamwork. I'm in the penalty box.
You come to the back, Mo. Get out the way. Do a little, do a little mangrove shuffle. The mangrove shuffle. He's not that big one. He's not Mo's. Oh, big it's Jack. Oh, oh man, look how cool he is. That's it ain't quite as cool as Mo's uh, giant gray snapper. Carter, these fish can pull, huh? Jacks are one of the most underrated fish. Huh? Oh man, I, it's the Cajun GT, man. The Cajun GT. <laughs> they pull great, great fighters. You got this school of snapper down there that we've got, you know, chummed up and responding really well. But once you pull out two or three of their brothers, they get smart really quick. What is it, bud? Did you see it? Giant snapper. Really? Mangrove or red? Yeah, mangrove. They're educated to what's going on. They watch a bait go in and they watch their buddy get yanked out. And now all of a sudden, that bite changes. Get him, Mo! Mo, I saw him! Come on, get him! You have another giant? You got another giant? Don't worry about it. I'm just putting the wood to him. You're just putting the wood to him. Where's the net? <laughs> Mo, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if it's the fact your husband's giving you the baits and me the baits. No, what? <laughs> no, no, no. He hooked, he gave you my bait, remember? And I have been having a fin for myself. His head up, got him, Mo. I mean. No sweat, no sweat. Man, Carter, I don't know what to tell you. I, I just told right where you are. I don't want to talk about it, Mo. I so don't want to talk about it. I just know that I love fishing with you. So we're so And I kind of like fishing with Eric, but I definitely like fishing with you. Well, I like fishing with y'all because I get to fish. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Man, what a solid. Because I fish. get to fish. Haley Payton. Your dad bring a fish home because of me. Make no, whoa, look at those big guys. Yeah, three of those are mine. <laughs> I've had so many different fishing partners and buddies in my life. You know, to see a woman like Mo almost dominating in the boat today is, I can't say enough about how much I appreciate her enthusiasm, her drive, her skill, her skill level. You know, at some point you just gotta sit back and admire it. The Obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by CV Boats, lead the way. Cuda Fishing Tools, fierce, tough, proven. Ray Marine, simply superior. Traeger Wood-Fired Grills, taste the wood-fired difference. And by TH Marine. Additional support provided by the following brands. Mo! I'm not saying anything. I think she's got a cobia. A nice one. I, you know, I'm gonna gaff him this time, Mo. Carter, if he's got followers, I'm gonna hand you this one. With this. No, you pitch it to him. No, man. Yeah, no. you pitch it to no, him. No, I, I gotta let my boy catch one. Uh, I think it's a good one, Mo. <laughs> I think so too. Come on, I wasn't that far down. You got two 50 pounders in one day? It's not over yet. Mo is bridging the gap between male dominated industry. Mo's able to to help bring women into fishing and show what's really possible. All right. Here's a lip. Oh, oh Jack boy. Bell. Giant Jack. Big Jack. That's all right. All right. Mo, he inhaled that thing. Yeah, he did. You got him, big guy? I got him. Again, I know, big fish. 
<laughs> it wasn't a species where it was after, but it was still a good fight. I take it. I love seeing more and more female anglers starting to enjoy the sport. Okay, Mo. I still a wagga. Yep. That's about it. I mean, we got a bunch of fish to clean. We should roll. It's about that time. Yes, Thanks for Carter. putting a whooping on us. You know, I was just here to catch some fish, provide <laughs> for your family. You know, just doing. That was that was that was quite impressive. Just doing what women do. You know, as I look back on this last trip to Louisiana, our success was proper preparation. We're gonna go down the main river, cut over to a pass called Octave. Teaming up with a solid group of people. A different life we had. No, we spent so much day, so much time together. I knew that we would dial the fishing in. Get the popper, get the popper. They're right in front of the boat. He's getting bit. This world right there, oh! Big Red. The hospitality side of it with Eric and Mo. Getting to hang out with Juan. Good job, Carter and Juan. Eating tuna, shrimp boils, catching prehistoric size triple tail. Yeah, triple tail! Triple tail, get the net. Redfish bites that are beyond imagination sometimes. Oh, I'm getting bit. Boom, there are two of them down there. We're doubled. He never spit it out, did he? You always put me on them. I like red fishing with you, Carter. Right there. Louisiana can deliver just keeps me coming back year after year after year. Good friends, great food, and a tremendous fishery.